Hello people, this is Endeavor, welcome to Rocktech. And the more observant among you will have seen the bank balance has jumped around 8 million. That's just because we sold some chassis we weren't going to use, among them some vehicles. And it also turns out we did have enough parts to bring the uh, Aseth, one of them, that's the double LX LBX5 double uh, ear medium with tandem rockets and daisy cutters we might be using this one at some time we have four um, beetles now which is actually a good thing and without further ado now that we've raised our safety net a bit i think instead of going to a constant control planet, we're actually just jumping into another priority mission. We have no Comster planets, Comster contracts around, so we're going to steal a prototype. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're just going to see it. It's a 521 salvage, so it's going to be good. We're going against Clan Barrock. We've got an upgraded arcade finished, so we keep improving the Argo. Um, yeah, we've finally gotten to the Moral ones, so Hydroponic Garden coming up. Getting uh, 11 days travel is good, allows us to get some days off. The repairs on the Dire Star and the Leviathan. So there we go. We want to get into. So let's see it. I think we already got the fire control system advanced targeting computer on the Hyperion. But just in case. Or uh, no, we still got a Mark II here. So we're going to put it there to see if our chances get a bit better when calling shots. There's nothing else we want to do here. The mech works as it is, so it's just a matter of getting more hatchets in this one. I don't know if we have, well, the Warhammer is still not available, so we'll just take a couple more days, okay, um, whatever it was, we've just gotten badly from this one, didn't have time to actually read it so what have it happened we have an injury and we must bear it we've got sensor sniper here it's not a bad thing so yeah we keep it like this we might want to swap the hyper for an air peep this would give us a bit of tonnage to work with. More importantly, it would even out a bit, so... Oh, but, but we only got one air peep around, so... Yeah, no. No sense in doing that. This one also works as is, so... Whatever. We keep going. And we just get these last two days before we get to the planet. I don't want to get into the contract because I think we have enough experience for a bit of upgrades on pilots, so let's see it. A bit more piloting, a bit more, a bit more guards on Meg Warrior. It's just getting the experience now Arbiter well we're going to wait with you Battle Eye is still waiting for Gunnery 
you can get a bit more piloting and a bit more bad, I guess. At this point, it's all about resistances and better rolls. So, why not? So, I actually have no idea what kind of contract we're putting ourselves into, but I guess it's good. Kestro can get to 9 tactics. Not that it helps that much now, but it still helps with rules. So, there we go. You're actually going to 9 gunnery as well, King Wolf. So, at least it's not able to. You are, though. A bit more gunnery. And it shows we haven't been able to. You're not one of the initial load, but still. We get to 10 gunnery and we put a bit more goods into Mummy Bear. And yeah, I know this also gets our upkeep higher, but. So, more tactics here. A bit more gunnery guts on your blower. You're actually trailing behind, but you were not part of the first active lands we got neither, so that's mostly why. Popo and Rogue, well, Rogue can get to 9 gunnery, 9 tactics, sorry. And let's see Smirk. On Smirk, we're going for piloting now. Because we're constantly jumping with the bounty hunter, so that should help. Striker still wants to wait, you want to wait. You finally can get to Warlord. So even our third string pilots are actually getting their third um, skill, which is all good. We're here, we're on a bar control planet, so we have no access to hiding hall, neither store. So in we go. We see what kind of contract we got ourselves into, which is also important. That's a capture base, so who do we want? Well, I think we left the Hephaestus to bring the Hyperion. No, King Crap out, Hephaestus in. That's how we go. And... As for vehicles, I think we're staying with the ones we have. So we go with Battle Eye, which I think is going on the carrier mostly. It's strange because Kestrel should also be going on the carrier. So we do it like this actually. King Wolf, we get onto the Nidhogg. I think that's where we're mainly using him. And we go to the pilots. And they vote on the Hyperion. And then we got Giza. We got Mech Warrior. We must get to Mami. And now, Arbit on the Hephaestus, we want Kraken on the Warhammer, we want Smirk, well we got Plover here, you get on the Conquistador and Smirk goes into the Marauder. And that's how we get in.
That's a capture base, so probably either one of the VTOLs or the Morada is the one who is going to capture the zone. Still, we must be very aware uh, because I'm actually quite sure we're going to get um, support lances and maybe even reinforcements. So just because of that, we're going to make a small cut here until it ends loading. So you're gonna have to stay here for the full two, three minutes it's going to take. See you in a second. So it finally loaded in and we go. Darius is warning us it's going to have significant defenses. Yeah, I wouldn't expect less. So they want us to drop here, but at much rather well, might not be that bad, but yeah, we are seeing everything now. Can we actually spread? We can. Okay, okay. We can set in here, which makes me... A bit suspicious that we're going to see everything already dropped there. So it might not be the worst idea to actually set shop here. But still, I guess this gives us direct line of sight to almost everything. And we're going to have fun with the so we can drop some here. Do we set who have we Hyperion? It actually it's one of those times where I might want to learn the hotkey for just dropping one mech. Okay, that's the Hyperion. And now for some reason I cannot drop here when before it said we could. Okay, so we just set everyone, we're going to send people who need direct line of sight and to be closer on another path. Hopefully this is good enough. We're going against 20 things, so <laughs> this is going to be quite something. So, it's starting to spawn everything. We'll just give it some time. So, without further ado, we see a carrier which has to do. We see a Hoodsy Pochuli, which actually, I think, also has to go. The good part is it's not bringing much. We see an router turret. We're seeing a Turkina, which also has to go. The Direwolf, depending on which one it is. And I think it's one of the good ones also has to go. So yeah, lots of lots of priority targets here. And turrets, let's not forget about it. So, start control moves, but we're protected mostly against missiles. Let's see who we bring. You. Let's see your chances. The carrier 
Well, it's a missile carrier, so we shouldn't be that afraid of it. The Fafnia also is a priority target, and it's good sight on us. This one's probably a double loader cannon win. Yeah, we have no line of sight to anything else. I think we're waiting at least until turn 15. Unless we start seeing lots of artillery, which could well be, because we got a Turkina back there, so... Let's see what the Grendel does. It just comes forward. No stress, which is always good. Sorry about the texture bug. Sometimes it happens. So yeah, we're waiting. Holding for tactical advantage. Waiting. Letting them do their thing first. Hopefully we can get vision to the arrow turret. We're seeing... Some LRMs coming for the archer. Problem with waiting is we're probably moving on a forest which is set on fire, but... I think it's a small price to pay not get completely obliterated by the auto cannons on this first turn until we have been able to start just getting ahead of the curb by just dropping things. <laughs> so there we go, that's the carrier. Go for the fleet. Hits quite a lot of them, so it's an ATM, actually. Well, don't be too cocky, that was actually... Nothing hits from this one. So yeah, we got quite some carriers and they're actually... in range. That's the Dire Star. Well, not the... Not the most menacing Dire Star, and we can deal with him quite easily. He's pretty hot, so we're going to just shut him down, this one. If the... If the Conquistador can get line aside to it... Reporting minor damage. He's mostly done, this that one. Was sloppy, lad. So, we want to give the... I, I forget its name. Fafnir didn't shoot, but we're waiting for the Inca. Make the first yeah, that's Sarros. Okay. We're mostly overcooling on our all our mechs. Okay. Oh, that was the. So. We can get to this one. It is not a bad idea. So there we go. On my way. Double time. You're, you won't be able to do nothing. To the turret, so... Priming the Grendel for next turn is not a bad idea for you. You just move back and... We mess with your hate gauge here. Well, that's actually aye, aye. not the best hitchens, but we still should hit plenty. Receiving you. So 
So that's only one turn left for you. And at this point, we're sending you towards the other Grandel because we want you to absorb whatever they're Double shooting our way. We've seen a Timberwolf here, which we didn't see. This is always interesting. So, either the Grandel or the the ATM Carrier, and I think it's the ATM Carrier, even though it brings AMS. We want those things off quickly. Hami. We want to see if we can get vision to... I think it was this one. But we're not just not going to cut it this turn. So I guess... Oh, we can get to the low ground. Which is much welcome, actually. So... We still don't have sensors, so we're just going with best, best Hitchens. I guess this is going to be... Yeah. We'll be keeping the large improve heavy of the game for this one. Roger. And next turn we start getting heads off. Moreover, goes for the arrow. If we can hit it, well, we, if we can hit the building, so control bursts, and we go for the turret which holds the turret. Uh, I actually think we clicked on the wrong building. No! Okay, didn't want to move like this. This is a bit bad. But what can you do? We'll have to live with it. So, some more heat. East. Our chances here on the Timberwolf... No, they're, they're actually worse. So, yeah, we just get some... This way. This should get the Dire Wolf out of the game already. And we got an Ifrit. Which we can... Sent a bit more forward than whatever else we have. We're able to nap, not really. So we're sending you this way. Might be better. Oh well. We see another mech here, another dire wolf. Which I'm actually a bit scared about. So, Inferno Bombs and some mines are not out of the question here. Because this one can probably get in range. Yeah, I know, I know. But some artillery from one of the turrets. We haven't actually set our AMSs into into overload mode, so 
There's a small failure, but still. Some days without playing, we'll actually do this to you. So, we got it open, that's something. And at least we got rid of the high explosive rounds. Conquistador. Can overheat more things. So I guess we're going there. So not Apollo. But Insanity. And do we have better chances? Not you. There. We actually have. So we keep the year mediums out of the game. And we just... Try to overheat him completely before he gets to the... Well, it's only 12 hit, but... Got my attention. So, Hyperion... Will actually... Pull back. Like this. Because Copy we that. don't want to... Hit some of our friends in the fre in the way out. That's a bit of hit, I'll grant you that. So we keep the super quiet, should be enough to get rid of this carrier. Engage enhanced imaging, and there we go. At least that's a carrier of the field. And next turn, we can start dealing with all things. Yes, Commander. Hephaestus is not actually going to be able to do much here. Still, we can start work here on the back. On the Huitzilopochtli. We keep one of the cubes quiet. This is mostly about starting to deal with him. And that's the arrows, yeah. Well, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, you got a... And that missed this artillery shot, so let's see it now. We see that support lands to... Okay. That was an artillery hitting the Nidhogg. But we're able to start moving here. We should. So, we warlord this, and we go for the Hudslipukuli, or whatever, <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> That should get him down with the hyper assault. So that's two of them off from this flank. Turn 24 is actually the Grendel we have in front of us. They're actually not a priority target, this Grendel and the Stormcrow. So we might want to wait on them, on hitting them. Actually, the Grendel is just disengaging. So who's next? Well, the only thing we have in direct line of sight. We get you. Are we going to get the storm crowd down if we could focus him? Probably. Probably could. Come to think about it, but... So, yeah, we just keep out of line of sight from other things. And we 
see uh, can we see which pilot is there or not yet so we just sensor lock you for good measure someday we'll learn where it works and where it doesn't but it actually worked here so happy about it a bit more a bit better hitching so on bankers we can sensor block so very good clustering to the torso but we didn't get him in the end so that's his turn at least we got some damage on him let's see if he's intimidated like the grendel and he just runs off but scott turn crows usually just get to the job quickly so that should be four mechs on our part we have one thumper which we can go for so I guess that's where we go. Follow my lead. Let's see the hit gauge because yeah, we have to keep it like this. Still good enough, if you ask me. And yeah, doesn't look like we can go for. Let's hope this is the building. Affirmative. No, it doesn't get rid of the turrets anymore if you do it, so we basically wasted a turn here. Do we want to engage on everything here? Probably don't. Probably want to take you people of danger we can get this grandal mostly off well, it doesn't look like a bad idea so we go like this we go for the grandal and we see if classified <laughs> No, that doesn't work on you. Still, it's what we got. So, there we go. We pay attention to hit gauge. But I'm actually okay with going a bit over the hit gauge here. So, that's all of his weapons off. Not that a Grendel can do us a lot of damage, but still. Warhammer gets vision to some turret in the back. But we can start with the headshotting shenanigans here. It's not the best Hitchens, but still. I ATMs are nasty, so that's twelve percent on the cockpit. We actually hit arm torso and we miss one. Position confirmed. Conquistador. We don't want to go with you yet. We're waiting to see if shot. we can get a bit more resolve. But we can get here. And we get a back shot to this tire wolf here. So why not? Target 
Yeah, we get a bit of damage on ourselves, but still. I can't take much more of this. Okay, you're here just for this. So... Yeah, that's lots of damage in... from somewhere in the back. Now it should be the Timberwolf Prime here. That was the our hammer to see. He should be pretty hot, so we're going to just send some heat this way. You should talk or actually also be overheating a bit now. I mean we got you primed with mortar, so there you go. Avatar We want to... Oh, we're actually not in range for the Warhammer. Oh well. A bit of mortar on the line. Direwolf here will also help. So that's your hit coach gone as well. Let's see what they do, this Grendel and Direwolf. They've got more things. They've got the Rhino, which we're quite safe from right now. I don't think it's good vision to anything other than the Nidhogg, so... We got the Morada, which actually survived this turn of not doing anything. So, we start shooting the arrows. Yeah, quite a good hit there. And we just get going here. Direwolf moves, goes for the Ifrit, overheats completely. Actually, wouldn't be surprised to see an explosion here because he really went overboard. Well, that's an injury. And the Rhino also goes for the Ifrit. And, well, he still survives somehow. We're probably not getting to get another turn with the. With the Ifrit, yeah, that's very good damage there. Oh well, would have been good to have a go at him, but still. Yeah, Conquistador gets a bit of damage, but they all should be closing down now. So it's a matter of just choosing which one we go for now with him. Still not in range. It's not good getting in here. These ones here are mostly shut down, so let's pile on that. Not Inferno. Guided, mostly, is what we want here. Okay, just get me to guide it, and which one do we get to first? Well, you're actually quite unsteady, and we have a decent Hitchens here, we're never getting into its bark now. This is you on the ground. Well, we actually destroyed the Grendel. And you're able to get him. Which is good. So, we hopefully... okay. Mm, this is bad, but 
we actually can get the arrow of the game, so that's something. But you're going to the ground unless we can... Unless we have a high roll of initiative next turn. That should be the arrow gun. Yeah, it's taking a while. There's a lot of things on the field. So, support lance one only has three vehicles. That's something. But yeah, turrets are most likely going for the Conquistador now. Should have seen. He was at three stability. That's bad. That's an arm and a torso gun. So we lost LRM and MRM ammo. We're mostly going to have to pull back with a conquistador. And yeah, that was a railgun from the back. So we might want to keep off vision from that thing. You can't do much here. So we're just pulling you a bit back and letting you cool. Hyperion can get vision to the railgun. So there we go. We should be able to shoot the Supra now. But if we go with range here, we overheat, so we just keep it there. A bit of LRMs is all we need now to get rid of him. You can actually shoot people back like there. But it's not what we want to do with you. So you just go for the Stormcrow. I would love to know why such poor Hitchens is here. Whatever. So, Hami. Can't get a shot anywhere, so we're going for this one here. And we actually need the offensive push to get rid of you, so there we go. Oh well. We hit once, but it wasn't with the hyper laser. So, who gets to go now? We have to deal with the Rhino as well. I actually pulled back a bit, but... Yeah, that poor Conquistador to Karel into... I'm guessing the arm. And it transferred to Torso and it blew the Torso as well. Still, he's turn 19, so he's most likely getting to the ground. Grendel pushes up, he goes for the Karia. But Karia can take one of or two hits. So. Trying to get Vision Bagda, but apparently we don't get the luxury. That's only a 50% here. So let's see what we got on the railgun, because Artemis means crits. Not much. Oh well, something has to be done about this railgun. That's more shots on the railgun. Moving out. And yeah, we 
stay in range. But we really won't to get the railgun off. Okay, hopefully it's on the loot table. Target destroyed. So we get some stuff for the Leviathan. You're powering up, yeah, whatever. That's not good. So we just go with cluster. We keep the railgun quiet here. Keep moving. Engaging and hopefully next turn we can shoot the dire wolves, which are closed. Yeah, that's you going on the ground, probably even getting destroyed. Mm -hmm, that's bad. At this point, if you want, you can punch out. I mean, as expected, the avatar get shot by the Warhammer, but we had to get rid of the railgun. That was the sole thing we were trying to do here. Thankfully, what we have here is mostly unable to shoot the Conquistador, but the Conquistador at this point might as well punch out. Because we're going to have to just get out so, as much... No, we just leave the... Right, Commander. We get into the Dire Wolf because we need to get at least one of them out by next turn. So, that's something. And we can't get Inferno back there on... On the Warhammer. We could also start working on the Rhino, but the Rhino without direct line of sight is actually not that scary here. Yeah. So they start powering up. Let's see the turrets. At least there's only two of them. So there's a thumper left and whatever. There was They're trying to shoot the carrier. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's bad. Still. We probably can move out of here next turn. Okay. You actually destroyed half of the storm crew. So thank you, Thumper. Mm, looks like the Conquistador is actually off the game. I was probably crit out. So we're most likely just pulling back with the Archer. And focusing... Well, there's actually not that much to focus here. We've got the Grendel, but... Randall moves up and goes for the Warhammer. We're actually thankful for that. I'm receiving you. So, Hephaestus. Is able to just go for the Dire Wolf in the back. Yeah, we're overheating, but we should table to get out of overheat like this. That sensor's in third at least. Hami, just shooting direct stuff. He's much welcome to you. Got my attention. We 
we got an avatar and some quite heated up max so we keep going on this dire wolf here so that should be him overheating again Hyperion has line of sight to the thumper so there we go that should be the 300 armor gone and we just push a bit back we're slowly cooling down so that's something and we got a Grendel in range so might as well go for him now we're pulling out of line aside from the dangerous things and we actually blow the Grendel well, most of it still got weapons but so where do we want to go? I'm guessing Thumper is actually what we want to shoot. That's bad. We actually have line of sight to too many things here. Can get line aside to the long tom, but we're not dealing with the long tom this turn. And there's no way to just get going. You got a Fafnia, aren't you? So <laughs> I don't want to get near you in any way. So I guess we just go like this, we pull a bit back, you as much as I want you of the game, there's a thumper back there. Let's hope for crits. Yeah, this thumper could already be off. Hadn't we gone for buildings the first two times, but we only got a long tom left. So that's something. Hami. Well, if there ever was a time to bridge a cockpit. Not on the grand though. But here, no. Okay, wait for it. Oh yeah, my man. So that's something. And we still got the Hyperion. No, it already went. Still, that Fafnir shouldn't be feeling very confident now. So, Morada gets to be Chilons because reasons. So, yeah, that's a dire wolf. And that's half a dire wolf. No, the ones here were dealing in other ways, so we just jump here in the hopes that we get initiative over the Grandel and we can shoot it back. 
Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's the Hephaestus of the game. Oh well. He shuts down, but still. Or two mechs down here. You're still up. Okay, yeah, it hurt, but whatever. Fachnia goes for the archer, but has no range. Commander? And we still got a carrier. And at this point... I actually don't we'll know what to hit. What's chances here? Well, that's pretty good, if you ask me. So, that's it. And guide it to try and get you. Not that we're going to get it directly, but... Okay. Long term one for the Morata, which is actually good. So, let's see the Grendel. Plasma hitting the Warhammer would be very bad news, but still, if we must, we will endure that. Actually went for the carrier within dark fire, so you're welcome, my friend. Commander? All you can do is get rid of the Grendel, so at least that's one Grendel of the game. And yeah, a bit of overkill, but still. We're starting to get the resolve, but we're a bit too late. We've already lost two mechs. This one's going to be expensive. Luckily, they were uh, Omnis, so we're able to bring them back with not further penalties, but still. Stormcrow just keeps pushing back. Goes for the Morada. Standing by. So, who do we have here? Are we able to get vision to our friend here in the back? We are. So, hello. I'm told you've got a cockpit pretty much open. No, we missed. And we're open for retaliation now, so we really should get going here. So, I'm guessing close range is better now. Oh, we missed. Vigilance. And we keep jumping. What we want here is the Fafnia getting eyes on us. And you, my friend, what can we do? We don't want to get vision of what's ahead of us. So promise we can't get whoa wait here so there's some Artemis your way Mr. Fafnia not that we're confident on getting head hits but it's only eight left here which is bad the 
hammer. Only has in the rock stuff. Yeah, but we're we're losing ammo just by getting crit. Oh well. Not the storm crew. But you. Oh, we just go like this, I guess. Now that's torso. So, we still got an avatar, and at this point I'm quite invested in getting the Fafnia. Now, we just see Torsos, okay, he gets to go, which is very bad news for us. Yeah, the Rhino keeps advancing, at least he got himself into mines. But there's actually too many things around here. That's the carrier gone. So we're down to the Archer. The two snipers. This is bad stuff. The avatar, which is already open. No, that was tandem. Okay. So you're probably going next, <laughs> avatar. Oh well, he might not. Okay, okay. I respect you. This. As crazy as it sounds. <clears throat> Not you. But you. you keep the railgun quiet for next turn. Oh well, I was hoping for a bit of luck on that cockpit. We probably have to push back after this win because yeah, people in the back are actually able to see us. So we fancy push again. Hopefully this time we're able to get the Fafnia. Well, that's half of you down at least. And we just try to stay out of Lana sight from the ones in the back. Because the Fafnir we're getting this turn, but what's back there, we ain't. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff here. Stormcrow pushes up, does nothing. Orders. So, Hyperion. That's actually a bit dangerous, but still, Roger. we gotta get rid of you. So, we're actually in range for a standard shot here. So there you go, that should be you. 
That's a flank clear, at least. Mostly clear. We still have to deal. I'm ready for orders. What have you got vision to from here? Okay, that's actually not bad. What are we able to do with the supercharger? Not much. So I guess we don't want the supercharger. Just want to get him there. And yeah, get this one. Now we're going with Apollo. That's the leg down at least. And a torso. That's him completely gone. So. I actually hit head with something. What that something is, I have no idea, but still. So, you're actually scary. So, a bit of mines down there. Yeah, he's still going to hurt us, but we hopefully can get him. this well we're not doing anything but the archer I got you. is mostly still solid so you've only got an arm open you on the other hand come on give me the damage one Some some your way. Yeah, but we're mostly hitting on the fresh side. Whatever. That wolf keeps moving. He actually got into the minefield. Warhammer. Sensor Just on. sensor locks. And he's actually going for the Hyperion, which is a bit of bad news. This means long repair times, but still, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, they're going for the avatar, and that's too much. Yeah, yeah, they're just... If we can't get rid of that clan LRM carrier, we're done here. So, good news is we have a backshot available, which we're going to take. We're overheating a bit, so let's see offensive push. Yeah, that's as good as normal shot on you, so not you, but you, and we're actually going okay. to try to core you directly. Well, you are open. We have got vision again on the Hyperion, which is bad. My armor's still solid. Okay. But if he's got vision, we've got vision, so that's something. You might be able to... Come on. Really? That 
That's nothing, my man. Order. So the Archa. Let's see if we can get to the back of the Dire Wolf, although I quite right. doubt it. This has, yeah, side shot written all over it. Still, it's what we have available, so we can get rid of that arm. That's something. You're going to the ground? Not really. So. If we move here, we're able to get going on the long term. He's not shot for the last two turns, but I'm still not confident. So that's most of the armor gun. Problem is we have one timber wolf here now, so he'll start having line aside to the Hyperion. Yeah, that's what I meant. This is all very bad. Talk to me. Vigilance or sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. Oh well, you're not the vanguard. Still, we very much want you to not be able to keep shooting the Hyperion, please. The problem is the LRM carrier will keep on shooting you, at least. It looks like he's out of tandem, that's something. Commander. So, what do we have here? Yeah, turrets we know they have. So, get going on this long term, please. That's all the turrets down, at least. But do we have reinforcements? That's a hell of a question, actually. Ah, this is going to cost us. The good part is we mostly got them under control, mostly. We keep going on you, like there was no tomorrow. We've opened the leg, uh, too little too late. Actually got a head hit on the team roof. So, the Archer, he is actually able to get him. So we get in on the Dire Wolf, the damage zone. We're actually hitting front, so a bit of acid, a bit of Apollo. That's him gone. We got vision. 
on the other die roof, so that's something. And he shut down, so we're going for, well, not that good Hitchens. We're hitting the fresh side, but still. He's open at least. Hammy moves, he still has line aside to the Hyperion. At this point, we already know this is going to cost some 5 million. But still. So. Yeah, I very much want to go here. Not good. Got my attention. I'll have to keep the large quiet. We hopefully don't hit the avatar in the back because that's going to hurt if we do. So at least that's most of your weapons gone and you get to the ground. You're just left with one ER and two mediums. Um, we keep moving back. Because if we can avoid damage for one turn, it's something. So, if we get here, we have a shot somewhere. Oh, that's you on the ground. So why not? We actually hit center. <laughs> By getting a railgun to the chest, he just decides to get off. Rhino destroyed itself. Turkina is actually doing nothing. So we're out of the woods, at least. But man, is this going to get costly and repairs? So we offensive push you and we go for torso. Mm -hmm. Hami just has indirect stuff, so he's welcome to shoot a bit. We're probably getting there with the avatar. Moroda has got a Turkina. He can shoot, so... Well, we're just shooting... a bit and getting out of line aside here. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's good enough for me. There's no way we're getting in range to do nothing, so we're just moving and getting you off the game as well. And yeah, standard is probably what we want to do here. Some will splash to center and get you out. So that's something. The avatar just moves a bit back. The rhino. Oh, it wasn't the rhino. 
the one that blew up was the the eleven carrier. Still quite very good news if you ask me. Oh look you're hot So we got no way to do things here. All right, let's move. That's nothing. So I guess a bit of damage to the Rhino. We're actually shooting damage side, so why not? Okay, for a moment I thought the game had frozen it. Oh, look, see. Hello there, no. Well, that last one. No, it's all torsos, but still good. Roger that. And the Turkina actually finds a way to hit the Marauder. Oh well. We're just going to play hide and seek with it. No way, man. Where are they? Well, it looks like they dropped here somewhere. We're not able to see them. Okay, okay. Not you. Well... Getting that Warhammer off the ground would be something. But the Rhino has to go here. So. Mm -hmm. That's something we don't see and we don't know where it is. Hopefully not on our backs. Okay, it's in front, so we have to get the archers out of here. Do we get to see where they are though? Not really. So, yeah, we're just pulling back here until we're sure where they are. But yeah, that's another kill team. It's bad. Not going to lie. Orders. And you're actually not able to say where they are. So we just keep messing with the Warhammer. Nothing until we know where those reinforcements come from. You got my attention. Hyperion, though, can get rid of the Warhammer. So there we go. Well, not the full Warhammer. We actually missed a lot here. Got flames, which is not good, but still, aye, aye. we shouldn't. Uh, we overheat it a bit, but whatever. So, only two shots left on the railgun, and should actually have looked at chances before shooting, but. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, we hit harm, sadly. Critical hit, Commander. Um, 
we just hide. We're starting to see... well, Wolfhound doesn't sound that scary, actually. And the Warhammer will just move. Oh, okay, that's a cool and flush for a moment. I thought it was. something worse. So, yeah, your hit coach is going nuts. a bit more okay that's good enough for me we're hitting on the mostly fresh side but still we've committed to this and we should be able to get him so that's another one down Warhammer is almost done. Orders. We actually, if we engage like this, we should get him off the ground now. So, well, I actually thought he was a bit more damaged than he was. Take that as a lesson. Still. We should get him to the ground with no problems, but we're actually running out of ammo here. Oh well. Good enough if it gets you off the game. And the Warhammer keeps moving, we can disengage and enhance the imaging here. We're just trying to get into position to snipe that Turkina, if it ever chooses to get back in vision. And yeah, we just got well, we've got more things, but we're just seeing the pirate wolf hunt moving around. We got a snake. Talk to me. So, we've got a shot on the snake. Not going to be the best shot around, so let's see if we can get vision. Well, we have to get up anyway, so there we go. Um, actually, might be a better idea to get down until we get round here we're not going to get vision on them most likely yeah we will so yeah, up we go waiting for order we're waiting for the torquina to do its thing I just did nothing So, that's something. Receiving you. We still have got heavy amarants, so this is just about playing hide and seek. Now, what we want 
is to maneuver a bit. Let them move nearer so that the Hyperion can snipe them. Got a mystery map bringing us it, which is not excellent. But still. Okay, that's a gauntlet. We want to keep going here. I'll just get out of vision for this turn. We have to get the avatar out, but we'll be able to in a second. Are we going to see the third mystery mech? Not really. So, Avatar pushes back and actually sends Fascam here because that's a gauntlet. So that's some acid mines. Um, question weapons if we actually have any kind of ammo left. Just push back. Standing by. Um, we're actually also pushing back. Let them come. Ofhan just moves. Burkina just moves. So, yeah, we're just waiting now. Let's see what they do. Get going, Snake. Oh, okay. That was actually the bond the Gordat, yeah. If it's a gauntlet, it's mostly... Well, it's most likely going to be our gauntlet. We've already established this wasn't a very good shot, so... We're also waiting here. Reserving action. We got that Mr. Mac, which is... At this point is obvious, we've got the stealth lens going here. Confirmed. Okay, snake just stood there. Problem we have is we just have 10 missiles, but still should be able to sensor lock him. And yeah, we just have these 10 Artemis tubes, so... Oh well, that much we shoot. Yeah, the wolf hunt is not going to be that dangerous. So, hopefully the Hyperion can get rid of the snake. We got one railgun shot. And one wolf in. So let's see this 44. So that's half you gone. Yeah, I know. This can be a problem, but we can supercharge this. Come on. Yeah, what I expected. So we're seeing a scarecrow as well. 
We'll get to it next turn. This turn we get rid of the Wolfhound. And hopefully the snake with our sniper. So that's one down. We still got Burkina. But it's mostly at this point Order. playing hide and seek. And just one come out. Copy that. We got guided. Where are you open? Okay. Not that I knew, but still. The snake just didn't move. It's too good of a target to just not shoot. Talk to me. So we'll just get the enhanced imaging. We go with everything. Not even worth I'm going for uh, an offensive push here. Orders. I keep going with you. At some point we'll be able to get on the window or maybe we get the Turkina to pick out and we're able to Commander? shoot it. That's a minefield we don't want to get through, so just disengage the supercharger and we move back in. We could get in, but what's the point? We only got two mediums here. You're waiting, even though you're pretty much in the open, because got my attention. you're also waiting. So let's see what the gunlet does. Moves. And goes for the Marauder. Oh well. Yeah, we're quite in the... Yes, Commander. Oh, that's nice. He can shoot me, but I don't have... Oh well. So now, we're going for sensors for the others here, mostly. I'd like to know... Okay, obviously, we still have a fifth member of the reinforcement lands, which we haven't seen by now. We're waiting... Turkina, please, pick out. I mean... Okay... We might have some mines back there that we just don't remind we've put because well you just keep going at some point you'll be able to get past the reach got my attention and the avatar would actually Roger get that. vision to this one Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Still, it's good to know there's a raptor there. Copy that. That's very good damage. We got your leg open, so all in all. And look, see what we have here. Guessing it's only the heavy peep, but still, it's the hyper laser. Oh well, 
must be stuck or not. <laughs> we'll see next turn. What's up, boss? You could get him, but there's no point. So, hello Raptor, have you moved at all these past turns? Yeah, it moved. We're shooting our last mortar, which is a bit of a pit here, but still. At least we're seeing everything now. So yeah, we're waiting. Let's see the raptor. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not that we're in very good shape here, but at least. I got a surprise for you. Not range, but actually in for standard. And I know. Probably shouldn't be wasting. Well, we're going for torso here. Because. It brings an exile and we can get him off the field quickly. So we should. So that just a gauntlet and a turquina left. Okay. You just made a terrible mistake. Yeah yeah. You're going to move or what? He is. I'm ready for orders. I know, it's us it, but we must get in. Oh well. That's the other black open, that's him on the ground, that's a desperado actually. Has the game crashed on us? No, that's him gone, at least. Okay. Actually, don't have to deal... Or do we? What's your status? We're just going to let you do your thing. Waiting for my opening. Yeah, we're completely letting you do your thing. Hey Whatever. Ten four. Standing by. We keep pushing because next turn we're probably able to get him. But for the moment, what we want. Come on. Acknowledged. It's just a slug to the back here. Yeah. Well, we hit some. Aye, aye. So, we'll just hit them off. Oh, you're open, you say. That's terrible. Could have done that to you. We just get out of here. 
I know, a bit more acid, but still. The avatar just pulls back. Moving as fast as I can. Orders. Archer just stays quiet. Talk to me. Hyperion I keep moving in case ready for orders. I can get but most likely won't be needed. We got a Turkina open, so we just warlord this offensive push and we go for center. We want to go home and lick our wounds. So there we go. Let's see how much it's going to cost. And let's hope we have that railgun up for grabs. But yeah, it's mostly going to be a 200 minute thing. Not, not 200 minute, but 100 minute. We're already there, I think. Well, hit my Mabel. Well, we just lose 78,000 from dropping, but this is going to be a different matter when we get to the repair. A screen still. We do what we have to do. So what can we get here that makes sense? Um, yeah, we've got parts of our mechs on the ground. We got Thumper. That might actually be a thing. This is very tempting. I know I shouldn't take it. This probably comes from one of our mechs. Although the cooling jacket, our cooling jacket, is on the Warhammer, isn't it? Oh, we'll get that, we'll get that. Yeah, sadly, no railgun. So we'll have to just look for other things here. Mostly money, because this is going to cost. Have we got? Not really. We got two already. Thumper we got? No. We've also sell, sold it. So let's get back cooling jacket because I think we still have ours. So this is coming from something on the field. We want not the society because that this one comes from the Well we actually don't know if we'll have it available but still Okay, I've gone past the excels because I want a bit of money to just deal with the repair expenses here. And we've got 5 million, 4.5, and, and, and what else can we take? Well, Tire Wolf parts are always funny. Fafnir could be something, but it's not an Omni, I think. You are. 
so if we bring you up that's money on that same vein we just take one of the clan exiles and do it like this so two pa four parts of dire wolves two parts of grandel two parts of timber wolf two, one part of turkina ams which we're selling aoe we're selling like tax sold telerm sold ultra choose we're selling the clan engine and regular engines we're selling compact gyro we're selling jumpies can go arrow ammo can go yeah not much but at least two million but this is going to be so eaten up by repairs it's not going to be even worth it with a bit of luck we're able to bring one timber wolf to just offset the cost here but this wasn't actually the best mission we've gotten into lots of needed damage two mechs down we must repair so yeah lots of damage on the mechs which uh, are let left standing which also means some 30 more days are bound to to be there i guess some 30 days repairs just to get the basics going so let's see it it's going to be some 80 i guess here but then later 60 days yeah 1 million well whatever so it's 14 day repairs i'm guessing no a bit more because we obviously have you so yeah that's a bit of repairs we have to get through so we might want to prioritize some of the mechs and actually do a quick mission before we get out of here but that will be stuff for another day because this one has already been running for two hours so <laughs> thank you very much for watching see you next time